Hey guys, I'm back to show you our new and improved progress monitoring tracker for special educators. We made a bunch of awesome updates that we think will make a serious difference in the way that you monitor student progress and record data points. So let's get started. The progress monitoring tracker can be found in the My HQ page. Once you're there, click on the progress monitoring tab in the right panel of your screen. You'll see that the tracker is completely blank, so we're starting fresh here. The first thing you're going to do is add your students. So we're going to click the blue Add Students button here. So this is where you're going to type your students' names, and you also have the option to attach their IEPs for easy access and reference. But if you want to attach the IEP later, you can also do that. added a few students and just like the IEPs, you can also go back and add more students at any time. So I'm also just going to attach a sample IEP here. And then we're going to hit save. So once you've added your students to the tracker, you're going to want to add their IEP goals next. To do this, click on the student's name and then click Add Goal. So there we go. From here, we're going to select the type of goal. So you'll see that we have a few default goal types that you can use, or you can click Add New from the drop down to create and save your own type of goal. So this is going to be a behavior goal. Then we're going to type in the goal for this student. Choose your metric based on the IEP goal. And that, of course, depends on what type of goal it is. And the same with the goal types, we have a few default metrics that you can use or you can create your own. So this one will be out of five. And of course, we're going to want to add the numerical value that's associated with the goal. So this will be five out of five. And then lastly, click on the calendar icon to set your students achieve by date. If you want to add more goals for the student now, you can add as many as you like, or you can come back at any time to add a new goal. So once you've saved the, saved the goal, it'll appear under the student's name with the label that identifies the goal type. So this is behavior. To edit any goal, you can click the edit button over here. So now that we have a goal for the student, we can also create objectives or benchmarks that are associated with the goal. To do this, click on the IEP goal and then add new objective. So this looks pretty similar to the IEP goal pop-up and it works exactly the same way. You'll also see that the goal is listed above for reference. From here, you're going to type in the objective. This one is three out of five. And then we're going to add a numerical value. So three. And you'll notice that the metric automatically selects the same metric as your original goal. But if you need to change that for whatever reason, you can. So once you hit save, you'll see that your new objective or benchmark will be listed underneath your original goal. So you would complete this process for each student, adding all of their goals and objectives. But once you've done that, 
they're saved in your tracker. So you won't need to do it again unless your student has a new goal or you're editing your goal or if you get a new student added to your classroom. So now let's get to tracking student progress and recording the actual data. When you assess a student on a specific objective or goal and have the results ready to go, you can click into the objective and then add update. From here, you'll select the date that the student was obsessed, assessed, I mean, say Tuesday. And then you're gonna give the update a title or describe what kind of assessment it was. So let's say week two, small group work. And then you're gonna record the results. So let's say two and then the metrics. So a super, super simple process. If you'd like to attach student work or evidence of progress, you can always click on the paperclip icon to attach documents, files, or screenshots. So now you'll see everything listed under the student's name. You can collapse these dropdowns by clicking the arrows on the right side, and then you can move on to the next student. So if you wanna reference a student's IEP at any time, if you did attach them, you can click the view IEP button right here. So the student's document will automatically pop up in the left panel. So you don't have to go looking through all of your papers to find it, which is super easy. And if you're preparing for an IEP meeting and would like to print these documents or send them via email, you can click the download button next to the student's name. So be that button right here. And then you also have the option to export all of your students' progress together. So you would click export all. And that would download them straight to your computer. So the last thing I wanna show you is how you can view your tracker. So right now we're in the student view. Oh, back. We're in the student view. So everything's organized by student names. But if you prefer to view and record data by the goal type, you have that option too. So for this view, you can click into the goal type to see your students and their goals and objectives. So we recorded one for behavior. And there it is.